I have been teaching about ovulation. I have been teaching about knowing your sex cycle. I have been teaching about pregnancy. I have been teaching about masturbation and all that. But people keep dropping in the comment section. Most messy Mary, what is the best way to prevent unwanted pregnancy? Yes, with no hormonal contraceptive, with no family planning. What do you think is the best way to prevent unwanted pregnancy? Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, we're going to be talking about ways to prevent unwanted pregnancy. Ways to prevent unwanted pregnancy. How? How is it possible? But before we go into the days into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you seven ways to prevent unwanted pregnancy. Seven ways to prevent unwanted pregnancy. For you to click on this video, it's possible you don't want to get pregnant, but you want to keep having sex. Oh, you've gotten pregnant, you had two children, you want to you want to avoid further children from coming in, or you want to avoid pregnancy because you are not ready at that particular moment. So I'm going to be sharing with you seven ways to prevent unwanted pregnancy. So the first one I have to share with you is the use of condoms. Yes, condoms. We have both the male condom and the female condom. The male condom and the female condoms. The condoms are the only contraceptive that prevents you from unwanted pregnancy and also sexually transmitted infection, sexually transmitted diseases. Like I earlier said, we have the male condoms and the female condoms. The male condom is 80% effective why the female condom is 79% effective according to the CDC. So if you want to prevent unwanted pregnancy, it's advisable you use the condoms. I know a lot of people will like, I like skin to skin. I like it flesh to flesh. Fine, you like it skin to skin. Let's go further. The second point is knowing your cycle. I will always advise the ladies to know their cycle, to know their safe period and also their unsafe period. The safe period is a period where they can have sex and no pregnancy will show up. But when they are unsafe and they have sex, that can lead to pregnancy. Knowing your safe period and unsafe period. Because as a lady, you don't ovulate every day. You only ovulate once in a month. You only ovulate once in a month. So it is advisable to know your safe period and your unsafe period and avoid sex when you know you are unsafe. Then the third point I have to share with you is the withdrawal method. The withdrawal method is not 100% effective. It's not even 90% effective, I would say. But the withdrawal method will go a long way to help you prevent pregnancy. When you combine the withdrawal method with knowing your safe and unsafe period during sexual intercourse, that is going to go a long way to help you. Then the fourth point is the use of a diaphragm. Have you heard about the diaphragm before? If yes, drop in a comment section. The diaphragm. The diaphragm is used by the women and it is placed in the vagina. It is used by the women and it is placed in the vagina. It's advisable to place the diaphragm few hours before sex, leave it in place for six hours after sex, and also you can remove it after 24 hours. The diaphragm will help you prevent what unwanted pregnancy and it is basically used by the women. Then the fifth point I have to share with you is the cervical cap. The cervical cap has similar function or similar role as that of the diaphragm. You place it in the vagina, it prevents the sperm from getting to the egg and also getting fertilized. Then the other point I have to share with you, which is the sixth point, is the use of spermicide. As the name implies, spermicide, it is killing the sperm. It is 
die is it's killing the sperm it is drying off the sperm so when spermicide is used it kills the sperm it doesn't allow the sperm gets to the egg most times it is advisable you use spermicide alongside with the diaphragm or spermicide alongside with the cervical cap spermicide alongside with condom if need be to prevent unwanted pregnancy but just know as the name implies spermicide it simply means it is killing the sperm then the seventh point i have to share with you is what you already know but you don't want me to tell you but i'm going to tell you and it's 100 percent effective and that is abstinence abstaining from sex socially is the surest way and 100 percent way of preventing unwanted pregnancy so if you don't want to get pregnant you don't want to use all these things i've told you abstain from sex in peace and that will help you to prevent unwanted pregnancy then also there are other methods that can help you prevent unwanted pregnancy which is the hormonal method of family planning method of family planning we have different types of family planning it's already been discussed on the youtube channel so you can watch the videos that explain the various types of family planning and pick one from the various family planning that has been listed and also another way to prevent um a wanted pregnancy is to have your emergency contraceptive with you have your emergency contraceptive with you which is known as the post you know, two or the post pill so immediately after sex you can have it within 72 hours that helps to prevent fertilization of the egg so these are the key points i have to share with you when it comes to what preventing unwanted pregnancy when it comes to preventing unwanted pregnancy thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching our video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is nosmes mary saying thank you bye and see you in our next video